Hudson Valley Eds and Meds is about bringing two anchor institutions together in the Hudson Valley, higher education and healthcare. I think it's great for the HVEDC to bring everybody together like this, to get all the stakeholders in a room where everybody can uh, talk about medical education and uh, medications and technology, and because it's a continuum. And by bringing everybody together, we can all work together, look for synergies, uh, and build a better product and provide better patient care. It is very important to bring uh, the two audiences that are here, the people in the medical professions as well as education, because we feel that, well, we got to know who we are supplying uh, this workforce to. And as we stand here, we know the scene is changing right now, and uh, these audiences need to come together so we can hear from one another and plan accordingly. It's very gratifying to hear these individuals say, hey, I didn't realize you did that, or we should talk after this forum. That's the purpose of these forums. And then, by extension, I want the networking and the education to happen out among the attendees. So I want them to say, hey, I heard something that could be a business opportunity, or I heard something I wasn't so sure about. Let me call one of those panelists. And we have seen absolutely, after every event that we've had, these connections are fostered and then they grow over time, which is very, very gratifying. Uh, some of the technologies that are coming down with the capabilities for, to be able to communicate at high speed with broadband, 5G, low power WAN, narrow band. Uh, the communication protocols that are coming are going to enable you to operate anywhere you are in the world seamlessly with all of your computers, all of your handheld devices, they'll all be seamed together and they'll all be collecting data in the cloud. If there's a challenge for, for the educators also is how to start thinking about how we create a new type of clinician that's able to do clinical analytics and is able to look at big data, is able to look at all this information and be able to get the trends out of that. Today it's so critical to have a real bias towards finding talent that understands innovation and doing things differently is so critical to success. also have to be very smart about starting honest conversations uh, with everyone in this room and discovering when we have similar needs with technology, personnel, facilities, can we find ways to collaborate.